Hello everyone, so my name is Unati and welcome to the channel ANN, Alternative News uh, Network. So today we are joined by Jack Miller. We just came from a match from Clutusville, now we are here in Stellenbosch. So Jack, how do you feel about this match today? Unati, we feel fantastic, absolutely fantastic. I mean, uh, huge, huge success. We had so much support from the community as we were walking through the streets, people coming out of their houses, yeah. waving, screaming, free the Cape, free the Cape. When, what do we want? Cape independence. When do we want it? Now. No. Right. So it's, it's been such, a, it's been a beautiful, beautiful day. And yeah, it, Cape independence is growing absolutely exponentially. So we're, we're very, very happy. So do you think, uh, how much impact do you think this will have now that there is this uh, demonstration or exposure uh, among the people of Stellenbosch? How much impact do you think it will have among the people here? Look, you know, it's, uh, I think, Cape independence is such a powerful idea. It's almost like a lot of people don't think that, first of all, they never heard of the idea and they're so disillusioned with politics that they kind of think, well, what's the point of even fighting? What's the point of voting? What's the point of doing anything? They just give up. And then you can see the sparkle in people's eyes when we tell them who we are, what we stand for, what is possible. It's like, my goodness, are you telling me this is really possible? We can yes. have an independent Cape? And, and you just see the life and excitement come back into their eyes. So I think, mm. you know, a march like this, the more people we reach, the more people we get this message out to, and then they spread the message to people that they know. Yes. Um, I think it's going to, this is actually inevitable. You know, it's something that, as I mentioned, you know, on stage just now, that yeah. it, it's in the soil. The Cape, the Cape does not, we've always been counter yeah. to the centralized political systems of South Africa. Mm. In 1910, when we were forced into a union, the Cape, we were opposed to the centralized policies of then the British Empire. Yeah. In 1948, we were opposed to the centralized policies of the apartheid government. In 1994, we are now opposed to the centralized policies of the ANC regime. The entire system, it doesn't matter whether it's the ANC or the Nats or the British Empire in, in control, the centralized system has to change. Yes. And this is what the Cape Heart is offering people, yes. a true rainbow nation in a decentralized grassroots democracy right here in an independent Cape. Yes. That is powerful. I mean, I am for the idea as well. Um, that's why I'm here as well. Um, and I think also there is the, there is the issue of uh, Pretoria uh, not recognizing or acknowledging the people in the Western Cape. So do you think uh, the more there is these um, uh, appearances or demonstrations, do you think now they will acknowledge the existence of the idea? Because they seem to be dismissing, uh, even, even the DA is, seems to be dismissing the idea of Cape independence. Say, no, it's not possible. Uh, how, how do you see the, 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 let's say the way forward from here on? You, 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 raise, you raise a very good point. And um, this is the primary reason why the Cape Party was formed. The Cape Party would not have been formed if the DA was doing their job or any one of these political parties were doing their job. We formed because they made us. They created us. The ANC and the DA made us. We are a product of the community, of the people of the Cape. And the reason the DA, up until now, has been part of the problem, as well as pretty much all the political parties, is that they have national ambitions. These are people that get paid very handsome salaries from a central government. They have campaigns all over the country. The Cape Party, as our name implies, is exclusively built from the ground up, right here in the Cape. We have no one else's interests at heart except for the people of the Cape. We don't want votes in KZN or the Eastern Cape or Gauteng. We wish, we wish that they will pursue the same policies we have and we've got great relationships with other independence movements in KZN, in the Eastern Cape, other parts of the country. So we support them and we want them to follow our lead with these types of policies. But the truth is the DA, the ACDP, Freedom Front, all these other political parties have ambitions outside of the Western Cape mm. and that handcuffs them. Mm. So there will come a time when all these political parties will have to make a choice. Yeah. They either put the people of the Cape first or they continue oh, yes. trying to feed their salaries with their national ambitions. Yes. And we at the Cape Party made our minds up on this 13 years ago. We are going to fight tooth and nail 
for everyone right here in the Cape and we want good friendly relationships with our friends and our neighbors in the Eastern Cape and KwaZulu Natal and other parts of the country. We want to trade with them, we want to have good uh, political uh, relationships and we can have that in a decentralized rainbow nation. Yeah, that, that, that's powerful. So, uh, where to from here? Where to from here? 2021 is the big one next year. So we've got probably just under 12 months, maybe 10 months um, until the elections next year. And we are going flat out. So any one of your listeners who is interested in Cape Independence, who's interested in the Cape Party, we would urge them to get on our website, www.kparty.com, get to our Facebook page, Cape Party Free the Cape. Uh, get on our Twitter, uh, send us an email at kpkparty.com. If you want to contest, if you want to run as a candidate in your area, let us know. Uh, we're we're, an, we're an, an open family here, a loving family, yes. and uh, we'd love to have you. So join us and let's make this dream come true. Yes. Jack Miller, thank you very much for your persistence. And persistence, I should repeat. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nati. Yeah. People... Yeah, that was Jack Miller. Now we are going to go to Phil Craig.